What's going on guys, Oakley O'Day here with the Hyper Physique System and today I'm going to talk to you guys about three training mistakes that you are making that is stopping you from gaining muscle. So when I was uh, first starting off in my fitness journey, um, I was a skinny guy, I kind of struggled building muscle, I guess you can call me the hard gainer. Um, <clears throat> and these three training mistakes are probably what was holding me back as far as training goes. Obviously there's a nutrition aspect to fitness as well, but as far as training goes, these are probably the three biggest mistakes I made and that I see a lot of my clients making before they start. So number one is you're probably doing too much or what you call overtraining. Uh, most people don't really overtrain, but they're just doing too much, okay? So what I mean by that is you're going to the gym, you're doing 20 different exercises, you're in the gym for two to three hours, and you're just trying to kill yourself, right? You're just trying to get a crazy pump and do as much as you possibly can uh, while, while you're in the gym, right? And you do this, a lot of people do this when they first start off, and I, it's very common. They, when a client comes to me first, they, they think uh, my workouts aren't hard enough because they're not in the gym for two to three hours. They're only in the gym for an hour half at most and they're they're asking me why why am I only in the gym for this little bit of time? Don't I have to be in there for three, four hours to get results? That's not true. And that, in fact it's probably holding you back from your results. And the problem that really and the other problem that happens is uh, people will do too much and then they think they're not doing enough so they'll keep even they'll keep doing even more to try to make up for the gains that they're not making by doing too much already. So it's just like a never ending cycle of trying to do more and more and more and more actually going backwards as far as building muscle. So what we want to do is start at a lower volume and work our way up and we'll go to deloads and all that. And if you work with me one-on-one, -on -one, obviously you'll learn exactly how to do that. All you have to do is just DM me coaching real quick and I'll give you more details on how you can work with me one-on-one -on -one to uh, design your training nutrition program. Um, so number two is you're not going hard enough. What I mean by this is kind of backwards to the first thing I just said. Um, where you're, you're overtraining or doing too much. Well, this one I, I mean by you're just going to the gym and you're going through motions. So even if you are doing too much and you're just doing a bunch of different exercises, you're not really pushing yourself or you're not actually using the right amount of weight or doing the right amount of reps or sets to actually get results, right? You're just kind of doing the same reps, the same sets, the same weight, same exercise, same routine, same everything, and nothing really changes. Your workouts are getting harder week to week and you're never really making actual progress. So this is also gonna hold you back in your muscle gain journey as well. So number three is gonna be you're afraid of the big lifts. So the big lifts are just compound movements. So like bench press, squats, deadlifts, overhead press, rows, pull-ups, all those are just working multiple muscle groups and typically are using like a barbell most of the time. For some reason, like when people see a, or hear a barbell or hear a big movement like deadlift, they're just kind of afraid to do it because they think they're gonna get hurt or they, they're just, oh, they're, they seem intimidated by it and they just kind of stick to machines or free uh, dumbbells or something like that or cables and they never actually push themselves out of their comfort zone and do these bigger lifts that may be a little bit more intimidating but once you do them, they're going to give you the biggest bang of your buck and you're going to build the most amount of muscle doing these movements, getting stronger in these movements and working with these every single week, trying to progress each and every week with these movements. In my opinion, these should be the foundation of your training and then everything else should fall on top of this, okay? So if you're not building a solid foundation with your strength and hypertrophy lifts um, with your compound movements, then you are never going to really build a solid amount of muscle. It's just going to be holding you back because you're afraid to push yourself out of your comfort zone and actually do the movements that are going to push you forward. All right, guys, give this video a like. Comment down below what you like about it, what you want to see next time, or maybe even tag a friend, and I will see you on the next one.